Way 2013 has many shortcuts that will help you to navigate from one point to another based on the application you want to do. These shortcuts are classified into general shortcuts that you use when you are either opening, creating, saving, or printing your document. There are also editing shortcuts that is for cutting, copying, pasting, undo, and redo. There are also formatting shortcuts that you use when you want to bold, to italicize, to underline, to align, to justify your document. There are also navigation shortcuts that you will use when you want to move the, the page from up, down, down, up, from one point to another. You use shortcut and navigation shortcuts. Let us now start with the general shortcuts that are commonly used when you are working with your document. So to go to a shortcut, you have to be on your document and then whenever you want to open your document, click or place, control and then O. Here you see you get your open document, you go to recent documents or you can double click here to go to a location where you have, sa you have saved your document. Suppose I have saved my document on the desktop, so I have this scroll bar that will take me to my desktop. Then I go to this scroll bar here that will let me check, select my, uh, my, my work. That is ICS for Form 2. I click on this. Then I click on Open. So the ICS Form 2 document will open. Now suppose I want to create a new document. So to create a new document, you place Control and then N. So now you see a new document. A new document here will be created. Suppose I want to save my document that I've created. I have written something. Something. And now I want to save this document that I have created. So to save, you do, you press Control, then you press S. So now it will take you to save as. You click on the computer and then you, you browse to take you to a location where you want to save your document. Now let me save this document on the desktop. I use this scroll bar. I select the desktop and then I give a name to my document. I says 2014. And then I click on save. This will be saved and you can see here you see the ICS 2014 as the name of the document I have saved. Sometimes you may be in a position to look for help of something. So whenever you need any help from Microsoft Word, you place the function key F1, this F1. A window will open on the right with a search bar here. Now on this search bar, you write something you want to ask or anything you want to know. You write, suppose I want to know the meaning of the word edit or how I edit my document. So I click edit. Then if I place search, it will give me all the directories that show the word edit. Here text, you have the options here. Now you can start navigating to see the solution to your, your question you have posed. Let us now look into the editing shortcut. In this editing shortcut, we have the shortcut for cut, for copy, for paste, for undo, and for repeat. Suppose I want to cut any part of the document. The first thing I do is I highlight the part I want to cut, and then I place Ctrl and then X. So in this case, that part will be cut, and you see it is moved. You see this part I had highlighted is no longer available. Suppose I want to copy a part of the document. The first thing is I highlight the part I want to copy and then I place Ctrl C. In this case, the document is, is copied on the clipboard. If I want to paste it here, I paste by using the shortcut Ctrl V. I press Ctrl then V, the part will be coming as the part that is that was copied. And suppose I want to redo all the operations that I have performed. I place Ctrl Y. So I place Ctrl and then I press Y the first time. I press Y, press Y, press Y, press Y. I will get all the, I will have a copy of all the actions I have done before. That's why if I continue pressing Y, the document will keep on increasing. And if I want to undo the actions I have done, I'll press Ctrl Z. If I press Ctrl Z, I'll start coming back, start coming back to the point where I started. So now I'm back on the first document. I control Z again. Now it's even the, the part that I had deleted, I had cut, comes back. 
let us now see the formatting shortcuts formatting shortcuts will also apply whenever you have selected the portion you want to deal with suppose I start with the way to bold I have to highlight the portion I want to bold and then I press Control B that part will be bold you can see now this part is bold suppose I want to apply italic on the next sentence I select the next sentence here then I press Control I to be in italic now you see this part is italic and suppose I want to underline the next line so I, I select the next line and then I place Control U for underlining. So Control U for underlining. That this is for underlining. Suppose I want to align the text on the left. So I control the portion and then I place Control L to align to the left. Now it is aligned to the left. Suppose I want to align to the center. Uh, to the center, you place Control E, Control E to the center, and if I want to align to the right, Control R. And if I want to justify, I have to select the whole document, the whole text, and then I place Control J. Now it is now justified. You can see it is in the original format. But to undo all the operations, I place Control Z several times. Control Z, 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 Control Z. Now I am back on the original format of the document. If I want to see all the actions I have done before and doing, so I control Y, 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 control Y. So far now I am back on the pointer I was. Let me now go back to the original format before going to the next formatting. So I control Z, Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. Now I am back on the original document. Let us now see the shortcuts for navigation. You want to navigate from up, down, down, up, left, right, right, left. Use the shortcut as shown on the left part of your keyboard. The page up. This is the page up. And the page down. To show this operation, let me have two or three pages to see that the effect. To show the navigation by uh, to show the na navigation shortcuts I have decided to have two pages so that it will be easy for you to understand so suppose I want to move a page up what I do is the shortcut is you place on the page up button now I am on the up if I want to go one screen down so I paste page down now I am on the next page if I want to go to the beginning of the line, so I place the button home. So this is the button home. It takes me back to the beginning of this particular line. So now you see I'm on the beginning of the particular line. Suppose I'm on the first point here. My cursor is in the center here. Now I want to go to the beginning of this particular line here. This particular line. The beginning of this particular line. And the cursor is in the center here. What I do, I place the home. So it will take me back to the original. To the beginning of the line. Suppose I want my cursor is in this point at this point and I want this cursor to go to the beginning of the document. So what I do is I place control then I place home. So now the cursor is back to the document. You see it, it is coming to the beginning of the document. Suppose I want to go to the end of this document. Now I'm on the top. I go to the end of this document. I place control end. So place control then press end. It will take me to the end. Now I'm on the end of the document. And suppose I want to open the Go to di dialog box. What I do, I press F5, function key F5, so it will give me the Go to dialog box.